the fourth problem on hydrodynamic lubrication a hydrodynamic bearing has a diameter and length of 100 mm so small diameter d is 100 mm length l is 100 mm the radial load w is 30 kN you should always convert it into newton the journal speed is 1500 rpm remember you want to convert it into revolutions per second and the radial clearance is 100 microns remember the clearance c should be in mm if the viscosity of oil is 25 cp cp means centipoise viscosity mu is in centipoise you have to convert it into newton second per mm square then determine minimum oil film thickness means you have to find out ho and probable coefficient of friction that is small f let us start with the solution Now see this is the table which you can find out in Bhandari design data book. It is table number 16.1 dimensionless parameter for hydrodynamic journal bearing with side flow, full journal bearing with side flow. You can find this table in Bhandari design data book. Also the best part is all the formulas are at the top of the table. You can see L upon D, epsilon that is eccentricity ratio, HO by C ratio, S capital S Sommerfeld number then there is an angle phi R by C into F Q upon R C N S L and Q S upon Q so all these formulas you don't need to remember they are already there on the top of the table let us start with the solution now you should always start by L by D ratio you should first find out what is the L by D ratio and then proceed with your problem eccentricity ratio epsilon ho by c is the ratio of minimum oil film thickness upon clearance sommerfeld number it is a dimensionless parameter the formula is r by c whole square into mu ns by p then there is radial clearance c there is radius r so r upon c into coefficient of friction f q upon rc NSL Q is uh, flow R is radius C is clearance NS is revolutions per second of the speed of the journal and L is the length of the bearing and QS upon Q the first thing given is the diameter is 100 mm so obviously the radius is diameter by 2 so that is going to be 50 mm length is also 100 mm now see guys l is 100 d is 100 so 100 upon 100 l by d ratio is 1 so in table 16.1 you have to refer l by d ratio as 1 and then find out the other values the load is given 30 kilonewton so 30 into 10 raised to 3 newton you have to convert kilonewton value into newton now I have W, I have L and D also so I can find out pressure is load upon area that is W upon L into D so 30,000 upon 100 into 100 so pressure I found out as 3 Newton per mm square. The speed is in RPM I want in revolutions per second so NS is N upon 60 so 1500 upon 60 is going to be 25 revolutions per second. Clearance is given 100 microns. Remember, 1 micron is 10 raised to minus 3 mm. So, 100 into 10 raised to minus 3, you can convert microns into mm. So, you found out clearance as 100 into 10 raised to minus 3 mm. Viscosity is given in centipoise, CP, 25 CP is given. So, if I multiply into 10 raised to minus 9, it will become Newton second per mm square. So, mu is 25 into 10 raised to minus 9 Newton second per mm square. The specific gravity and specific heat are also given. Now first I can find out the Sommerfeld number. That is R by C whole square mu ns by P. I can put down all the values and I found out Sommerfeld number as 0.0521. Now if I find out the L by D ratio. And if I see HO by C values or see if I see the Sommerfeld number, if I see Sommerfeld number, I cannot find out the value as 0.0521. But if I see the Sommerfeld number, the value is between 0.121 and 0.0446. 
so i can note down the other two values of ho by c as 0.4 and 0.2 so from table if i see the lowest value i can find keep it as x1 which is 0.0446 and in front of that whatever is the value of ho by c i will name it as y1 which is 0.2 same way the topmost value in s is 0.121 so i will give that higher value as x2 and ho by c in front of that that y, y2 value i will be getting it as 0.4 now i have to do the interpolation because since i am not getting the exact value of 0.0521 i am going to use the interpolation formula let us see how it is used now you can see these are my values of x1 y1 x2 y2 now what i am going to do i am first going to calculate y1 minus y2 upon x1 minus x2 is y1 minus yr upon x1 minus xr so you can see y1 minus y2 that is going to be 0.2 minus 0.4 and x1 minus x2 i am going to get 0.0446 minus 0.121 same way i am going to get y1 minus yr yr i don't have so that is going to be the unknown value same way x1 minus xr is going to be 0.0446 minus 0.0521 if i put down those values properly i will get the value unknown value of yr which is 0.220 so this is how by interpolation i found out the value of ho by c still i have to calculate the value of ho since i have the value of clearance i have in the given data i'll put that value 100 into 10 raised to minus 3 so first thing unknown thing which i wanted to find out that is minimum oil film thickness i found out as 0.022 mm one more thing i have to find out let us see how you can find it out by interpolation now again in the table i want to find out small f so in front of s values i am going to note down r by c into f values you can see the uh, 0.0521 sommerfeld number which i found out that is going to remain my xr so that is between in the table you can see 0.121 and 0.0446 so it is between x1 and x2 so i have to find out the yr value between y1 and y2 which is 3.22 and 1.70 let us again see the interpolation and put those values into the formula now you can see x1 is the small value of s you can see 0.0446 in front of that y1 value in front of that you can see 1.70 so that is going to be my y1 same way the x2 value of s is going to be the larger value which is 0.121 you can see in the table and in front of that 0.121 in the table r by c into f value is 3.22 so now i am going to apply the interpolation formula now you can see the interpolation formula is y1 minus y2 upon x1 minus x2 is y1 minus yr upon x1 minus xr in the bracket you can see your y1 uh, sorry in the figure you can see the y1 is 1.70 y2 is 3.22 x1 is 0.0446 x2 is 0.121 same way y1 is 1.70 yr is unknown x1 is 0.0446 and xr is 0.0521 you just have to put down all these values and you will get your unknown value of yr as 1.849 i have to find out the value of f i have r with me and i have clearance c with me so when i'll put those values of r and f i'm going to get the value of coefficient of friction which is 0.0037 this is the end of the problem if you like this video please kindly do like comment subscribe and share with your friends to solve this difficult numerical of hydrodynamic full journal bearing thank you